Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new video. I'm working on my read and review series. So I'm scrapping in a traveler's notebook about the books I read. So my next one is called Before the Crown. There we go. This will be a one pager. So I'll have it on the left side here. And that is the extent of what I have planned at this point. So I have all of my stuff that's book related. I pulled those out, including my stamps. And then I also have this newer pack that I got here of papers called One More Chapter. It's from Wild Whisper. I've had it for a little while, I guess, but I want to look through that. I do kind of like the look of this with the yellow and the yellow here. I'm just not sure if that might be too busy, but I'm gonna go through here to see what I might wanna do for background and I'll start with that. In my stash of book related stuff, I forgot that I had these. This is a set of digital files that I bought and I actually printed them on sticker paper so that I can just cut around them and they become an instant sticker. I'm kind of liking this one because again, I think the blue and the yellow match, even this green that's kind of in the background matches. So I may just cut those out and have it ready to use and after that, figure out what to do for my background paper. Well, I think I might end up keeping this one very simple. I've cut out the books, which I like. I like this configuration and I don't know that I necessarily need a background. And because I know that this photo is what's gonna be on the other side, I have the opportunity to use some different color background over here. So I think leaving this white would actually be okay. So I think I'll start with this. I probably will do some journaling lines down here so I can write my thoughts about it because I love this book. I'll go into that more in a minute. But at least that'll get me started and then I'll figure out do I need to splatter, do I need to add some little embellishments around, I don't know, but this is a good starting point. Alright, I have peeled the backing off of the sticker and I think I kind of want it sort of off-center like I had it, not straight to the middle, so maybe like that, there we go. And then I can attach that over the top and I just realized I'm out of adhesive, this one is empty, so I have to put in a refill. Okay, I have refilled my adhesive and now I'm ready to go here. Oops, there we go, get my photo ready. And I think I'm gonna do it kind of off center a little, just like that. There we go. And then generally when I make lines on here, I just grab a spare piece of paper, like here's one I have right here, and I just draw lines across it that's it. I don't use a ruler. I don't make it super straight. I wing it. I have made my lines there and I just use this scratch piece of paper and to make the lines I wanted them very thin so I use my micron pen. It's the 005. Oops, I've gotten glare there. There we go. So it'd be very very thin and then I'll use a thicker pen when I actually do the journaling. So I have that there. Before I go any further I do want to say I loved this book. If you are a fan of the show The Crown or any other series you've watched that's about the royal family, the current royal family anyway, you probably would enjoy this book. It's historical fiction. I will say that up front, but there is a lot of truth in there because she's very well known, obviously. A lot has been written and released about their relationship, she and Philip, before she was married and became queen. And so that's a lot of what you get in this book. It's a lot about their relationship, which I actually found fascinating. It's certainly not typical by any means. There are some things, you know, the royal family did have a hand in it a little bit, but in the end she chose who she wanted. And so I found it a very interesting story to see what led up to her before she became queen, not necessarily after. So it does stop pretty much once we know, you know, she's going to have her coronation. But if that sounds interesting to you, by all means, pick it up. I listened to it on Chirp. I think I bought it for $2.99. It was well worth the money. So if this sounds like it's something that's up your alley, give it a go. I want to do Queen Elizabeth justice here with my layout. So I feel like it needs something else. I think I'm going to do some stamping. So I have all of my book related stamps here and I think I'll probably go a navy because 
the outside edge here is navy and there's blue here so probably something down here towards the bottom now that could be a little dicey because stamping close to the edge when this is so thick means that the pages you know that the bulk is kind of uneven but i'm willing to try it if i screw it up i'll just cover it up with something else so i do have to go through here and find out which stamps i want to use in this stamp set, there's a stamp that says Once Upon a Time, and I thought that might be appropriate to do up here somewhere, or even right here, if I can squeeze it in, because she was a princess before she became queen, and so I thought that might be good. So I will stamp that first, and then I still think I want something at the bottom down here, but I just don't know what that is yet. I've done my stamping, and I decided to use Knight of Navy from Stampin' Up! This is a very old ink pad, but it still works, so why not? And I decided to actually stamp it right here once upon a time. I actually caught the edge a little bit with some ink on it, but whatever. This is a traveler's notebook. I know eventually this will get thrown away. I'm not going to keep this forever, so I'm okay with it. So now all I have left is to pick out what goes at the bottom. So as I get ready to do that, I just have to show you. I'm drinking tea just as she would. I had a lemon ginger tea that I tried in the UK when I was there the last time. Actually, I was in Wales and really liked it. So I'm having some of that now here. Mm, a lovely sip to celebrate the queen. Well, I didn't find anything in my stamps that I thought really worked with what I had going here. So I decided to pull out my ephemera stuff, my embellishments, my phrase labels, and this one was in there, Get Lost in a Good Book. And I figured, I like that. It works. I did get lost. I pretty much burned through that one. It didn't take me long to finish it at all because I was just engrossed in it. So it went really fast. And I did feel like I was kind of just lost in that world for a while, which is a good thing. I've attached that down there. And in looking at this, I thought I was done. But I think I want to do some little pink sprinkles, maybe. Because there is pink right in there. And I think... I have some spray mist that's pink. I think it's from Heidi Swap. So I'm going to check and then I'll be back. I do have this one available. It's blush. It's Heidi Swap Color Shine. I assume all of them have been discontinued. I know the gold has. This is one I have not used much at all. So it's good that I'm finding use for it. So I've covered up the other side just to avoid getting splatters on that if I can. And I'll use it on this side. Okay, I have done my splattering with the pink. It's not completely dry yet, but you get the idea of what it looks like. So I got most of it down there. A little bit more came out than I planned, but that's okay. A little bit there and some at the top. And it's just subtle enough where it's perfect. I'm very happy with it. So here's another one done for read and review. Thanks for watching.